What's up, you guys? In the go here. Welcome back to the channel. This is your SmackDown review. Um, this video, I got, I got a topic that I want to talk about. I think a lot of you guys might agree, but we gonna talk about it. Um, where should I start? First, please like, comment. Subscribe, definitely subscribe. I'm really close to 400 subscribers. I still can't believe I made it this far. But y'all know me. I'm doing this for a reason and also to have fun. By a reason, I mean, I'm a part of the OTS, Off the Script family, and I feel like we need more people to just be. I don't want to say truthful, but just honest about what goes on in the community. Anyway, if you missed SmackDown tonight, I would say check out some of the highlights. The show was decent to me. It was better than what Dynamite was. That show was fucking awful. But the bloodline is the top. It still is the top storyline in the whole industry. Solo Sukhoi is the leader right now i still feel like the rock is pulling the strings but i want to talk about solo and jacob fatu jacob fatu i've been a fan of him since like i first discovered him in like 2018 in mlw this was around the time when matt riddle was through there yeah i think M even mjf this is when mjf was on fire in mlw like he was killing it and Jacob Fatu was top five, like, top five popularity contests. He he was on that list. I feel like, I feel like Triple H and them, are, they're a little worried that Jacob might overshadow, overshadow Solo. And I feel that way because it's, I don't know what they've taken so long to debut them for. Unless they had a plan and they changed it. Or they changing the plans. I still feel he should come in as a heel. He's better as a heel than if he could pull off the babyface role. But he's better as a heel. And I don't think he's gonna. I don't think he will overshadow Solo. But it's obvious they have an agenda for this guy. They, they want to make him into something. But he's bringing Jacob Fatu and it's gonna overshadow. Even Tom Tonga is overshadow, overshadowing Solo, in my opinion. Because if y'all, y'all, a lot of y'all don't know who he is. He's one of the OGs of the Bullet Club. He could talk. He look, he looks the part. He every, he checks off all the boxes compared to Solo. And y'all, you know, a lot of y'all haven't heard him speak yet, so. I feel like all this is done for a reason because Solo has been protected since God knows when, since he been, since he got caught up. And it's obvious they trying to make him into something. But playing some sticks that I told y'all, Usos need to re reunite with Roman. I heard, I heard a, an idea that they should add Sami Zayn back into this. I'm not, I'm like, I'm half agree, half disagree with that. Um, we're going to see where this goes, but I that's, I feel like they're a little worried that Jacob Fatu might overshadow this, this what's going on with Solo. Let me know what you think. Um, that's what I got. I got bangers coming this weekend, so tune in for that. See you guys next time. Peace.